Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up the integration and transfer of new contacts from Zoho Inventory to Agile CRM. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho Inventory to other systems. For example, in Agile CRM you can create new deals, conveniently store them and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Zoho Inventory Data Source System. Now you need to choose an action. In this case, I want to receive new contacts. At this point you need to connect your Zoho Inventory account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, we need to specify the login and password of the Zoho Inventory personal account. Next, you need to grant permission to Apex Drive to work with your Zoho Inventory account. When the connected login is displayed in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. No additional settings are provided for the Zoho Inventory system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. Now you see the data for one of your Zoho Inventory contacts, if everything suits you, click Continue. This completes the setup of the Zoho Inventory data source successfully. Now you need to go to the Data Destination Settings. Choose Agile CRM System. Next, choose an action. Create Deal. At this stage, you need to connect your Agile CRM account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you must specify the domain, login and API key. To get this data, go to your personal Agile CRM account. We copy the domain from the address bar, without additional characters. Next, enter the login. In order to get the API key, we return to the Agile CRM personal account. Next, go to Account Settings. Now go to the Developer's API section. Copy the REST API and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive system. When the required fields are filled, click Continue. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. At this point, you see the Agile CRM fields for creating a new deal. You can assign variables from Zoho Inventory to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Note that you can use not only variables, but also write values manually. When the required fields are filled, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Agile CRM as new deals for each new contact from Zoho Inventory. If something does not suit you, click Edit and you will go back one step. 
In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Agile CRM. After successful submission, go to Agile CRM and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. This completes the setup of Agile CRM data ingestion successfully. Now you need to enable auto update and select the update interval, for example, once every five minutes. That's all. I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.